12 fights on the card. We are six down and let's move on to the seventh one. We've got Richard Burns from the UK fighting in the featherweight division against Shamanand. John, this is another exciting fight. Why? Because we've known Shamanand as an explosive striker. On the other hand, we've got Richard Munz who's a complete fighter. However, is a dominant grappler. He's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. He is, yes. It's your classic grappler versus striker. I'm looking for this to be an excellent fight here. And getting to know Richard, he's very calm as well. I was surprised at how calm he was. Let me tell you guys something. Shamanand is an absolute animal. He brings to the cage such tremendous strength, it's not funny. Yes. And not a lot of people can handle that. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the lineup, Richard Mears! Richard Burns making his debut at Matrix Fight Night here at MFN 10. Representing the Gymkhana camp from Kathmandu. This guy has been training in an MMA. John, his fighter, Thomas Burns, is also an accomplished fighter in the UK. And today, he's here to show what he's got. You know, one of the funny things that happened during the weigh-ins is that he requested a title shot. He said, I'm here for the belt, guys. I'm here, and I'm here to make a statement. And let's see if he can do that tonight. Well, yes, you know, humble, humble to the core. While I was talking to Richard, he said that he's here to celebrate the MMA culture and he is actually looking for the title. Both Shamanan and Richard were calling out Sanjeev, but now Sanjeev is fighting for the title and they've got one milestone which is today before they take on to Sanjeev. Let's look at his keys to victory. He better be attacking early and often, avoid early damage and he'd be the match shot. Manan, we have seen Shamanan, he's explosive. He looks for a finish in the first round and therefore we feel that uh, Richard at the moment should be avoiding an early damage and trying to play his complete game. I agree with that Rahul. Shamanan will try to end this quick and dirty. Well that's what Shamanan has been doing all throughout an MFN. Quicking, uh, sorry, being quick and dirty in this game. And his opponent! Making his way to the cage, Sham Anand. Or ab cage ki taraf bad rahe hai Sham Anand. Inka alagi style hai, alagi swag hai. India ka chanda bhi pakad rakha hai. Muh pe kapda bhi laga rakha hai. Meri nazro mein ye ek bohat hi khatarnaak, khatarnaak yodha hai. We have the pride of Sasaram, the pride of Bihar, Sham Anand, the first pro MMA fighter from the state of Bihar. Today he's representing India against Richard Burns of UK. And while I was talking to him, he said he's here for revenge. He's here to make a statement. He's here to be one of the best contenders for the title. John, what do you have to say about this? I think this is going to be an explosive fight. Both these fighters are coming and prepared. Both of them were very calm. In speaking to them yesterday, they seemed extremely calm. Extremely. Well, Sham was a little bit disappointed yesterday at the Wayne's because he missed the weight by just 15 grams. Let's look at his keys to victory. He's well-rounded. He charges inside and makes it dirty. And he today has to defend submissions because we know Richard Burns is a mad shark. He is a mad shark. Shaman is going to need to stay away and not let him uh, take him down, you know. Going to need to establish his jab, stay in the center of the cage, stuff those takedowns. Let's look at the tail of the tape. We've got Richard Burns, 30 years of age. On the other hand, we've got Shamana, 23 years of age. Shamanan has a 4-inch four four reach advantage at 188, 181 centimeters. On the other hand, we've got Richard Burns at 177 centimeters. Shamanan missed weight by 15 grams. Let's look at the styles. Richard Burn is a hardcore jiu-jitsu guy. On the other hand, we've got Shamanan who's been fighting as an MMA fighter.
Ladies and gentlemen, first we introduce the blue corner. He weighed in at 65.25 kilograms, representing the United Kingdom. Make some noise for the Lionheart, Alexander Richard Mears! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 66.5 kilograms, representing India. Give it up for Shab Allen! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Daniel Isaac. Gentlemen. You're both aware of the GAMAF rules. Let's have a good, clean fight. When I ask you to break or stop, please stop. Touch gloves or step back to your corners. Donone mana kar diya gloves ko touch karne se aur aankhon mein sirf khoon nazar aa raha tha. No glove touch here between both these guys. Both of these guys coming out mean in business here. Well, they're here for business and I'm sure They'll show it off right from round number one. UK से हैं Richard Mons और India के हैं Shamanan. I have been cage side for many of Shamanan's fights and I've seen what he does to his opponents. He will take them down and smash them. I have literally seen opponents covered with blood completely from head to toe. That's what he did in in, in both of his previous fights. Let's get the action started, John. Shaman is standing center of the center of the cage here. Oh, nice straight right hand Jabbar there, guys. Dust. Shaman is very powerful. Combos मार रहे हैं यहाँ पे चार पांच पंच लगाए. I think he's he's hurt Richard here. He is hurt. He's hurt Richard here. Shaman needs to put on the pressure here. Nice high kick there by Richard. Richard's gonna need to start moving, guys. He's just a standing target. Take down लिया यहाँ Richard ने. लेकिन शामन एक ही सेकंड में खड़े हो गए। तो दिस गाइस ऑन द फीट वंस अगेन। व्हाट अ ब्रॉल पुट अप बाय शामन एंड हियर रिप्रेजेंटिंग इंडिया फाइटिंग आउट ऑफ टीम आईसीएसए। वेल दैट्स द सेम टीम एस क्लिंटन। क्या स्पीड से मार रहे हैं शामन? क्या ताकत है? क्या स्पीड है? किसी भी चीज की कमी नहीं है। मैन लुक � he has eaten a couple straight right hands. Look at the damage on his face. Yes, his face is red, John. Very red. I think Richard here is taking a little bit of time to recover. Shamana needs to bring on the pressure here. Nice inside leg kick by Richard, though. He's doing a good job of staying composed. Nice knee. Take down ki koshish. Lekin aram se defend kiya Shamanan ne. Shamanan is doing a good job of defending that takedown. Well, Shamanan comes in from Team ICSA, and these guys are known for taking down most of the jiu-jitsu guys in the circuit. And I think that's what we are see watching at the moment. Guys, we're going to need to see a little bit more head movement by Richard. He is kind of a sitting target here. Needs to establish a jab, get a little bit more of head movement. Shamanan needs to bring the pressure right now because we know he's hurt. बिल्कुल शामनंद को रुकना नहीं चाहिए। He should continue doing what he's been doing। We can listen to Coach Jitesh from Team ICSA। शामनंद taking the center। No, nice right hand, guys। Another right hand, right square on the jaw। कड़क। Big right hand। Uppercut, left hook। क्या बात है? Drop him। और एक पंच ने गिराया है यहाँ रिचर्ड को। क्या यहाँ फाइट खत्म हो सकती है? ढाई मिनट अभी भी बाकी हैं इस राउंड में। शामानंद अनलीशिंग पनिशमेंट हियर ऑन रिचर्ड मंस। ड्रॉप्ड हिम डाउन विद दोस हेवी हेवी शॉट्स। वाच फॉर शामानंद टू पास दैट गार्ड एंड ओर पोस्टर अप राइट हियर एंड रेन डाउन सम लेदर। Absolutely, John. Now he is going to unleash hell on Richard. Well, it's it's been less than three minutes into this round, and we can see Richard hurt big time, and he's hurt badly. Shamanan is very top heavy here. He's able to land these short shots to create a lot of damage from up top here. And look at the difference in their bodies. The amount of muscle Shamanan has. Shamanan it's just so obvious. Very muscular guy. Richard on the ground, 
trying to show his jiu-jitsu. Elbow strikes. Mm. Shamanan unleashing the beast in him, throwing in those vicious elbows. Oh, oh what a hard knee on the way up. Hard knee right to the solar plexus there. Less than 90 seconds. Let's see what Shamanan does in the next 90 seconds. Shamanan is continuing with that straight one, two, right down the pipe, and he is landing every time. Yeah, it looks like he's found the magic formula for this fight. Just throw those straight punches and finish Richard off. We can hear Sham's coach saying, get into the southpaw position, throw those heavy shots, hit the bullseye. I'd like to see more activity from Richard here. Me too. Well, Richard is hurt at the moment. Richard is hurt, but that is not going to stop him from moving his head. Yeah, I'd like to see more head movement, more footwork, maybe some leg kicks. Yeah, I mean, look at Shaman an angle and, here. Look at Shaman and he's not hurt as yet. There's not even a scratch on his face or on, on his body. Guys, Shamanan is going to fake here and come up with an uppercut right between Richard's guard. You see him setting it up here. Well, I believe if Shamanan gets this one, he's going to call out Sanjeet or maybe whosoever wins the title tonight. Nice takedown by Richard, guys. Let's not count him out yet here. Got him in a nice butterfly guard. Shaman has a butterfly guard here. Less than 10 seconds. Nice reversal by Shamanan. They're back to their feet. What a round. What a round, man. What, what a round for Shamanan, guys. Let's, let's look at the action replay. Left hooks, straight rights, uppercuts. Puri tarha se aag laga di ha Shamanan ne MFN 10 ke cage mein. Very technical round by Shamanan right here. Classic boxing. Mm. Nice straight right that dropped him there. Even on the ground, Shamanan was maintaining wrist control there. Did you guys notice that? Wrist control right into that beautiful knee. And now, it's time for round two to begin. John, what do you think is going to happen in this round? Guys, Richard is going to need to move his head. Richard is going to need to put a little bit of pressure on Shaman, and otherwise he's going to continue to be picked apart. I think Richard is really shaken up. He's hurt, and Shaman can easily light him up, finish the fight, maybe in the early part of this round. Shaman is going to need to take center, center of the cage and put as much pressure as humanly possible on Richard. Well, guys, this is MMA. Anything can happen. We saw it happening in the second round, where it, wherein Arsene Ba fought Dinesh, and it may happen here again. You're you right know, let's not that. underestimate Richard Mearns. Right He's a born that. fighter. Let's get into round number two. We've got Richard Mearns in the blue, taking on Shamanand in the red corner. Oh. Richard really loading up that right hand. Shamanand establishing a nice jab here. What boxing is Shamanand? Ki? Good exchange from both fighters here. Nice takedown by Richard, guys. I think Richard has realized here that he has to start using his ground game and, and more of takedowns than standing and trading shots. No, I agree with that completely. Look at the pressure. He's trying to keep him up against that cage, keep his arms occupied. Nice knee on the break by Richard. Richard is doing a good job of switching things up in this round. Oh, so oh nice. Nice scramble, guys. So we can hear Coach Chitesh from ICSA telling Sham that when you get up, beware of that knee coming in from Richard. Richard again loading up, loading up that right hand. Nice exchange from both fighters here. Richard taking center of the cage here. Well, Richard is throwing in, trying to throw in a big right hand. He is. He's trying to catch him with that big right hand. If it connects, he it might. connects. It connects, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but he's telegraphing a lot. He and, is telegraphing, and I also, agree. Also, I don't feel he's putting a lot of power behind his punches. And if Oh, that was a nice knee by Richard. But if you notice, every time he throws that big right hand, he shoots him for a takedown. Nice takedown. 
Yes, that's what he wants to do. He wants to take this fight to the ground because clearly when they're striking, Shamanand is outboxing him. He is. That was a nice kick by Shamanand right there. But John, you see each time Shamanand goes down or is taken down, he gets up immediately. He gets right because, back up, yes. he knows that Richard is a mad shark. Mm, that was right on the knee and a fully extended knee of Richard there. That had to hurt. And the strength on Shamanand, guys. The reason the takedowns aren't working because of the brute strength Shamanand has. But I think Shamanand is a little bit slow. Oh, oh man. nice uppercut. Punches, uppercut nice uppercuts, nice hooks. Richard Abhi bhi is fight mein hai. That was big, that was heavy, that was devastating. It was, but Richard is durable, guys. I'm impressed. We have to acknowledge Richard's heart. He ate Lion massive heart. uppercuts and then he responded with a takedown, man. That is fantastic. It's the heart of a warrior, guys. And if it, is it just me or Shamanan seems a bit fatigued here? Well, yes, he looks a little bit fatigued here. He looks tired, and that's the reason. Oh, oh he's out, he's out. Beautiful what straight right hand right big there. Big right hand. Big right hand, guys. Well, I heart. think John heart nahi hathoda. <laughs> Big is an understatement. Oh that was massive. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic, guys. That was guys. massive. What a knockout. Let's look at the replay. What a knockout. Here he took a takedown many Richard in this fight. Takedowns were working for Richard to an extent, but look at the brute strength of Shamanan. He was just able to shrug them off and get back on his feet. Shamanan went back to his striking, his punches. Look Ooh, at right on shots. the button. Look at oh. how he loaded that mm. uppercut up. Look mm. at that. Well, this reminds me of Sanjeet Budwar. That's what he does. And another one. And another one. But here, Richard was still in the fight. He attempted a takedown. But then, this, oh. is where, this is where it all ended. Gosh, guys. Hand of stone right there, guys. Bomb gave the cage. What a Shaman fight. Ne, bomb. Shaman and made a statement right there, guys. Made All a right. statement. So we've got the pride of Sasanam Bihar celebrating his win over Richard Buns of UK. And probably, probably, John, I'm just assuming he is going to call out whosoever wins the featherweight title tonight. And you know, I, I imagine that that would be quite deserved after a performance like that. How do you feel? Well, I feel excited and, you know, looking at Shamanan, look at the way, look, look at the way he's celebrating and what an exciting bout, you know. Shamanan has been fighting at MFN for some time and we have seen him evolve. Over to Jared. Ladies and gentlemen, breakdown cover stop in this contest in the second round at 2 minutes and 54 seconds, declaring the winner, Bob! His physique makes me so jealous of him and he wears the Indian flag. It really, really looks good on him. Brother, you did it. Your one-twos over there on the side, you from your corner, your ball? punches, right from the very, very first second. Come, let's hear you to all the people that are right now watching. I want to ask, Hira Kablotareo. On that note, when, before coming to this fight, India lost to England in cricket match. You know, a lot of my friends said, you know, you gotta take the revenge. So, Indian team out there, cricket time, uh, cricket team, I took a little sweet revenge for you. I know you guys will be back. Indian cricket team, Virat Kohli and company, all the best. And everyone who is born in India, who has a little bit heart for the country, they want a moment like this. So this fight is a tribute to Bhagat Singh Ji, Raj Guruji and Sukhdeo Juji. And many more, many, many more. Thank you so much. We all Indians owe you so much. So,
Thank you, M. Fen. Thank you, Asa, ma'am. Alan, sir. Daniel, sir. And whole M. Fen team for giving me this opportunity. I really feel grateful. I cannot ask for more. Thank you so much. I forgot your question, man. Forget the question, brother. And you can ask for more. In the press conference, you said you want the title shot. You want it here, you want it here. Your six pack deserves that title shot. So don't let that go now. Now's the time to ask for it. There they are, Aisha, ma'am, and Alan, sir. Ma'am, Alan, sir, I want Sanjeet Budwar. Brother, you have been very good to me in past couple of months. All the best to you. I want you to win. But I have to get through you again. Those people who have been watching for a long time, they know the reason. So Sanjeet Budwar, let's go! Thank you, Shamanand. Power pack, brother. Great punching there. Thank you so much. And you know, it's been such a power pack night. Go take your rest right now. It really is a, a fantastic performance by you. Everyone watching, that, my dear friends, is what passion is and what power is. You want something more? <laughs> There's a lot to say. But yeah, anyway, I want to thank my team, my coach, and everyone who has been supporting me throughout everything. Thank you so much. And a special thanks to my haters. Please keep hating me. That gives me energy to keep coming back and prove you all wrong. Thank you, guys. I'll be back soon. I'm sure you will, brother. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Good luck, man. And I.